Speedy B seemed to have pulled off yet another amazing magic trick. When they released their F405 V3 stack about 10 months ago, it was simply the cheapest flight stack available. And not only cheap, it was full featured, including Wi-Fi access with the incredible Speedy B app. And it turned out to be a super reliable stack as well. And I used it in my Master 5 HD build. And given the financial state in the world, the cost was very surprising and very welcome. And now Speedy B seemed to have put the F405 V3 stack on a fast wash cycle to create this. It's the F405 Mini. And this is a 20 by 20 millimeter version with all the same features as its bigger sibling, plus a few new ones. And this costs $59.99. Yes, that's just under $60 or around £50 in the UK. And that is at least $15 cheaper than the closest competition. And this just has a whole lot more. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. So in the box you get this little card with a QR code on so that you can download your free SpeedyB app and that works on Android and iOS and it includes an INAB version and a beta flight version. It really is fantastic and I've been using that for a few years now. So here we've got the actual 405 Mini and it's presented in exactly the same way as they do with their other flight controllers. And it's got the signature yellow Speedy B mounting gummies, anti-vibration mounts. All looks very nice, up to the usual very high standard that Speedy B produced their printed circuit boards. That looks very nice, USB-C on the side there. Then we've got the 4-in-1 ESC, again uses the yellow mounting gummies. Looks fantastic. And in here, let's have a look what we've got. Accessories, come on. So we've got the mounting hardware and you get two sets. This was something that they first started doing on their F7 Mini. You get an M2 mounting kit and an M3 mounting kit to suit whichever frame you're fitting this in, which is quite a neat idea. And you get all the different matching sets of gummies to cope with the different sizes. And then we've got uh, an XT30 power connector that's the interconnect to go between the two boards, between the flight controller and the SC. And we've got the low, low ESR noise suppression capacitor. And that appears to be 470 microfarads, 35 volts. So that's suitable for anything up to 6S. So let's take a closer look at this. What you're getting is a 3 to 6S powered 20 by 20 millimeter flight controller and ESC stack that's configurable wirelessly with the latest SpeedyB app. And the ESCs here are 35 amp continuous running BL Heli S firmware. And using the app, you can easily set up not only the flight controller, but also the ESCs. And I've done a couple of videos showing how you can easily do things like change the motor direction using the app. But you can also do all your PID tuning and black box analysis cable free. It's really powerful. And on here you get four UARTs and a barometer as well as eight meg of onboard black box memory. And like its bigger sibling, you get three BECs, you get a five volt, a nine volt, and that's specifically for the DJI Air unit. And there's a 4.5 volt BEC. Now the 4.5 volt one is specifically designed to be used for powering a GPS or an external GPS anyway. And that works when the stack is powered from the USB-C connector. That's incredibly convenient and it makes this much easier to calibrate and set up an external IMU. And of course, the compass on the IMU uses the onboard I2C bus. And on the flight controller here, there's a TVS protection diode. 
and that's there to prevent accidental damage when you plug the main power in and they also include this low ESR capacitor that thing keeps things nice and electrically quiet for your video. They've also made some changes on the flight controller stack to improve the gyro filtering. Now this has got a max linear LDO power supply chip that's independently powering the gyro and they've got some improved capacitor filtering using a hundred microfarad tantalum capacitor. How does that improve things? Well, anything that insulates the gyro on here from external noise caused by the quad, either electrically or mechanically induced, will make tuning the PIDs and quad just much easier. And of course, this is helped by using a low resonance frame, but anything that's built into the flight controller to reduce noise further is a great design feature. Looking at this comparison matrix shows just how well the F405 Mini does against its immediate competition. And it's not just the cost that they've got as a competitive advantage, it's the features as well. And it's become pretty clear over the last few years, SpeedyB has produced a fantastic range of flight stacks that have proven to be super reliable. And I know because I've used them in most of my builds recently. And they pride themselves on both their products form and function. They always look great and the build quality is excellent. And I know from direct experience, SpeedyB are very proactive and responsive when they're working with the FPV community. And more importantly, when they're working with the Betaflight and iNav developers to build what we need at very sensible prices. And it's no wonder they're now seen to be the flight stack of choice for many of us in the world of mini quads. Now this may be a mini stack and cost only $60 and you might think is targeted at sub four inch quads but I think this has got enough grunt for five or even seven inch quads. It's certainly got the power and the features. And just think how much space you'd have left inside your seven inch long range quad if you use this. Now, these are available on pre-order August 2023 direct from the SpeedyB website. And I'm lucky enough that SpeedyB kindly sent me this one for review. So I'm going to work out which build I'm going to test this in. But I suspect this will become extremely popular at that price. So you may want to get your pre-order in now. And incidentally, I previously ordered direct from SpeedyB and their service is excellent. Delivery to the UK only takes about a week. Anyway, do let me know what you think of this in the comments. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.